Hey everyone, it's Heidi here. Welcome back, or if you're new, welcome. Today I'm sharing a Sam's Club haul with prices. I'm also gonna be doing some really super simple meal prep. So if you're interested, I would love for you to stick around and let's get started. If you've seen a ton of my grocery hauls, Russell and I have been doing sub sandwiches every week with some chips after Brody's game when he has a late one. And I got the rolls from Sam's Club and I'm glad I did. These rolls are really good. They're a little bit smaller than the regular rolls that I get from Walmart, which are also good. But these, I definitely prefer these over Walmart. Plus there are so many different things you could do with these. You can make garlic bread, breakfast subs, endless possibilities. The bagels, I plan on doing some pizza bagels again for Brody. He really enjoys those. And um, just basic breakfast with cream cheese bagels if he wants those string cheese this is just a light snack that we like to have and i got these because on my day in the life i shared the honey barbecue beef sticks they are really good but they're only for a limited time so i wanted to get another package of that and have that as a snack and we also love to have chips and salsa we like to add in a laughing cow cheese with it if you haven't tried it give it a go it's really good especially if you like cream cheese and salsa and then I got the cantina style chips to go along with that. Alyssa was wanting some veggie straws and she also loves the baked chips as some of y'all already know. If you love avocados and you have a Sam's Club membership and shop there, I highly recommend going to get them from Sam's Club. They're ridiculously cheap there compared to Walmart. I think I spent almost $4 for three at Walmart. So definitely a great buy. And this is a new soup. You guys know that I love the Sam's Club soups. I wanted to try this out and see what I think about it. It looks and sounds really good, so I'm hoping that it's good. So far, I have enjoyed the Sam's Club soups. And these are perfect for when you don't feel like cooking, you guys. And they are 160 calories per serving. So if you're counting your calories, check those out. Alyssa wanted some pineapples, and then the strawberries look really good, even though they're expensive. And the grapes, the cotton candy grapes, Alyssa wants to make some Sour Patch Kid type grapes. I'm trying to get her to eat for you guys. And then the honey citrus chopped kit. I grabbed two of those. I wanted to do these for my lunches. And then the cherry bombs. Those are my favorite tomatoes by far from Sam's Club or any tomatoes in general. They have so much flavor. It's definitely true, the flavor bombs. And then the granola is a new try. I saw a ton of great reviews when I was looking for a granola because I wanted to do something with those this week, which I'll be sharing in this video. And no Sam's Club shopping trip is complete without getting the kids a little white muffins. This is new and Alyssa loves corn dogs. So I figured we could make this this weekend and see how she likes those. I'm hoping she does. And I grabbed a container of the pink Himalayan salt. I haven't tried it, but I love the regular salt just like that from Sam's Club. The Alani New, some of y'all know that Russell, he drinks these and they have the peach flavor. I got that one. And this one he's never tried, but I ended up getting this as well. It's the Sunny D and Kool-Aid Rise Fuel. These are zero calories. The Alani's are 10. And then um, we're going to see how much he likes these. These are bigger ounces. These are 16 versus the 12 for Alani's. So who knows? He might have a new favorite. And that is my Sam's Club haul. I want to get into the meal preps for y'all. I love Sam's Club salads kits because they include everything. I will be adding in something else. These are three and a half servings. What I'm going to do instead of doing the three and a half, I'm just going to break this down and do a half. So we're going to do two servings for this one instead of the three and a half. They package all the ingredients individually. For me personally, anything that I have to prepare or make, I like to keep it simple. Eating healthy does not have to be complicated, a ton of ingredients just to make it healthy. You could do things super simple without doing a lot of work. This is one of those things that I like to do. I love salads instead of going and buying every single thing. I like these kits because it includes everything that I really enjoy. You could also add in some eggs here. Um, I'll be adding in some tomatoes as you guys will see, but it includes everything that you need. They sell these everywhere. It doesn't have to be Sam's Club. So if you enjoy a salad and you wanna make it super simple on yourself, definitely try one of these kits out and give it a go. And for all my friends out there counting their calories, this would actually make it a lot easier to count because it's already included the total. You just have to divide that by however many servings you end up making out of these. And for the dressing, I know it's not gonna fit into those containers that I have 
for just two. So I'm gonna share what I have left over after I make them. These containers are really great for other things, like if you wanted to prep some fruit bowls or what I'll be showing you next. So keep on watching. I'm gonna wash and dry these and add these into my salads. Lunch is complete. I added tomatoes in every single one of my salads. And then I have the salad dressing. You don't have to worry about these falling out because when you push them in, they pop in secure. So if you pack it to go, you don't have to worry about that. If you're like me, I like my salad mix really good. So I like to have this container and you just shake it and it's good to go. So it made four salads and then I have this left over. I wasn't gonna just toss this. I'm just gonna add it into one of my salads one day and lunch is complete. Let's move on to breakfast. I have shared breakfast parfaits with you guys if you've been around here for a while. I'm just gonna make a really simple one. Um, just an idea to do for breakfast using the granola that I got from Sam's Club. I took a piece of this and they are really, really good. It has like a honey hint, so I won't be adding any honey to mine. I usually like to put honey in my parfaits. I have a half a banana. Alyssa took the other half to school for lunch. I wanna use up these organic blueberries. And then of course, the yogurt that I got from Walmart. So we're gonna put this together really quick. You can easily make these for the entire week if you'd like. You could even do like an overnight oat mixture. I have shared those before as well. But I wanna go ahead and prep my breakfast for tomorrow, so I'm good to go. So I hope you guys enjoy this and let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you wanted to make this for the week, this is a serving size of four. I'm just gonna do one serving of this yogurt to give you guys an idea of how much it would look like. And then I'm also gonna measure out the granola. There are a total of 14 servings and it is a third of a cup. So I'm just gonna measure that so you can kind of see that as well. And these blueberries are two servings. You could get a ton of blueberries for 110 calories. I've already had some of these, so I don't know the exact amount. I'm just gonna pour a little bit of those in there. I'm gonna have a ton of granola left over. So I'm gonna make a ton of different ones. Strawberries are gonna be in my next parfait. Okay, I ended up adding in some ground cinnamon to it just to give it a little bit more of a flavor because the yogurt is plain. I usually like vanilla or coconut like mixture for my yogurt. So breakfast is complete for tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you want to see more super simple preps like this, just let me know in the comments. Say you would like to see more so I know that you enjoyed this type of video with the grocery haul. I hope you have a great day. Until next time, bye guys.